So Robert, what should I do with my hands in my videos? Hey there, it's Robert RK3, and if you haven't visited this channel before, we talk about storytelling and videos and public speaking and communication stuff. Yes. Yes. So if you want to learn more about any of that stuff, go ahead and click the subscribe button, share the videos and hit that bell. Bing. Okay. Where is it? Bing. Okay. Something. Yeah. Hit the bell so that you get notified every time I drop a new video, because I'd like for you to be back. I'd like for you to be back. I want you to come back to see me. Okay. I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit too crazy. So the other day I got this question about videos and feeling uncomfortable and not confident in the video because they weren't sure what to do with their hands in the video. What should I do with my hands? Should I keep them in my lap? Should I, what, what should I do with them? So I want to go through a few questions, four questions to be specific that I've gotten about what people should do with their hands in videos, advice that people have gotten about where their hands should be placed from professional hand video placer people. Yeah. One of the questions that I got was Robert, I was told that I should do this with my hands. Yeah. We call these, uh, the, the, the triangle, or we call these the steeple hands. Should I do the steeple hands, Robert? Well, honestly, I'm not a big fan of the steeple hands. Okay. I get it. It's a way for you not to go crazy with your hands. It's a way not to cause distraction, but I think the steeple hands looks, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. It feels funny. <laughs> so what do you do with your hands instead of the steeple hands? Well, just practice relaxing your hands. Talk as you would normally. You're having conversations with people. How would you talk when you're having conversations? Which brings me to the second question, Robert. I'm a hand talker. Should I not talk with my hands? Well, that might have been a little bit much, but yes, if you're a hand talker, when I say a hand talker, you know, there are some times where you use your hands to make descriptions of things. You're talking about squares. And so you do those types of things. You're talking and you just gesture easily back and forth. Should you use your hands? Yes, you should use your hands if that's what you're used to doing. Depending on the scenario, depending on the situation, depending on the room and how close you are to people, you may want to adjust your distancing sometimes, right? If people are right next to you, you probably don't want to widen your hands and smack them in the head or anything like that. So you want to be careful about that. But if you're a hand talker, if you're a gesture, you can use your hands to emphasize the points that you are trying to make. Yes, it's okay to use your hands. If that's what you're used to doing, just be intentional about it. Here's a third question that I get asked. Robert, should I point when I'm talking on video? Now, I am not a political expert, but you've seen the politician thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, I would say not to point directly at people because in some cultures that can be deemed as rude. But again, this comes down to knowing your audience, knowing your culture and not simply applying a blanket rule simply because somebody in a speech class 43 years ago said to know your audience, know your audience. Is it appropriate to point sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. You can point at things. Sometimes it's okay to do that. Okay. Is it okay to point at me? Yes. I'm pointing at me. But if you want to be appropriate or if you want to be considerate of your audience, then yeah, you may not want to point at them, but you can always gesture in their direction, right? You can welcome them. Question number four that I get is Robert, should I only do slow hand movements? Yeah, because the reason that people ask me that is because when they've seen people's hand movements on screen or on camera, sometimes they look a little blurry. Or if you have had green screen and you've got the halo effect around your fingers, it can look a little bit crazy. Like people have fingers disappearing and you may not want certain fingers to disappear and only leave certain other ones up. So, 
<laughs> Should I only do slow hand movements? Well, again, it depends. You don't want to be frenetic. You don't want to be frantic. You don't want to be crazy unless that's what your audience likes. Ah! If your audience agrees with that or if your audience likes that, if it calls for it, then do that if that's what connects with your audience. But you also don't want to scare your audience. So, you know, keep it somewhere in the middle. Okay, we don't need to be matrix. Slow motion or karate, although karate and kung fu movies do look really good in slow motion. So, is it okay to use your hands? That is the overall question. Yes, it's absolutely okay to use your hands. It's absolutely okay to be free with your hands. It's absolutely okay to be a person and normal and relaxed, especially if you're on video. Again, being aware of where you are, being aware of the people that you're speaking to, being aware of your audience. That's what's most important here. And again, not needing to stick to one absolute and concrete rule for every single video or time that you speak. I hope that was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more about the techniques and the technologies of storytelling, or if you just simply wanna have me do some more hand talking. All right, I'll see you in the next video.